Hi everybody, it's Chrissy here. Happy Easter Thursday. I thought I'd do a sneaky surprise Facebook Live this morning um, and show you my annual catalog pre-order. So let's um, just wait a second and see who's around. I hope everyone's having a lovely day and I hope everyone's got lots of things nice things planned for Easter. Now my um, pre-order is in a ginormous box so um, I had a bit of trouble getting my um, camera stand in the right place. It's because it, it's just so big. It's the biggest box that's damping up stands out. So um, yeah, uh, I haven't even undone the sticky tape yesterday. This I ordered this Tuesday at 6am and it was at my front door by um, midday Wednesday. And I must say, I'm pretty excited. Let's move that over to the middle a bit more. I don't know if anyone's around. I'll just share this. Um, with a couple of my groups and see who pops on to say hello. Okay, I'm just sharing that now. Um, And, yeah, I'm really happy it's Easter Thursday. It's, um, I'm looking forward to a, um, a nice long weekend. <coughs> Got lots of things planned for the weekend. But let's get started. Let's open this little baby up. So we have got, and I know it's early in the morning and some people will be at work, but I'm just so excited and I need to open it, but I didn't want to um, open it without sharing it with you. I want you to share my excitement about the new things that are coming. So as you can see, it's the brown box move out all this packaging I do have a couple of things that aren't pre-order things yeah okay so these are um, carryover things so the brush um, butterflies and the metallic dots. Let's see what we have in here. So let's start with this one. So this is the new core collections of the Stamping Rock markers. And I need to show you these markers because they are different from the old ones. So the old ones had a different tip, a different thin tip. This time they've got more of a, um, a bullet tip. I'm trying to make sure that you can see that. It's a bit hard to see. So they've got more of a bullet tip end. The barrel of the, the lids are shorter. The barrel is longer, so it's got more ink in it. Um, they've improved the brush marker. So this Stampin' Right marker, um, core collection is a really great way of getting all the new core colours um, without having to go to the expense of buying individual colours. But in saying that, you'll want to get all the new individual colours. So I'm putting out an expressions of interest for a colour of the month club. Because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11. So, um, and in that club, you will get the colour of the month and cardstock and um, ink and re inkers and a marker to go with it. So, if you're interested in that, drop me a line and I will put you on the list. <clears throat> and you'll also get the blends where they're available as well. <coughs> okay. So, let's talk about the new colours. Also, if you want to, you can buy all the new colours in this handy um, stamp pad collection. So it's got all the cool colours and obviously they're sold separately, but this has all of the cool colours and let's open this. Oh, well, let's talk about the colours actually. We'll open it and we'll talk about them. <clears throat> so there are 11 colours in this collection, I think. Yeah, it doesn't include, let me double check this, but I, it doesn't include the Fresh Freesia, which is carrying over from the annual catalogue, uh, uh, sorry, mini, annual catalogue um, in colours from this that is finishing. I hope that made sense. Oh, who's watching me today? Make sure you say hello. Um... And yeah, and I'm just so excited that I got this um, box so early. Like I couldn't believe. <coughs> I thought that I would get it early next week, but I was hoping to get it before Easter. So let's talk about these. So we've bought the Stamping Up have bought back Blueberry Bushel. Now, if you already have the ink pad and you need a re-inker, I wouldn't, um, Stamping Up doesn't recommend mixing the old ink pads with the new re-inkers because it can, um, uh, it, you won't get the premium effect from it. It can go a bit icky. Uh, that's probably the only way I can describe. So this is a beautiful colour. I know lots of people loved this blueberry bushel and it replaces really Pacific Point which is retiring. <clears throat> now this colour is called Bubble Bath and it's beautiful beautiful baby pink so I'm really excited about that. Sorry I'm really croaky today. Um, really excited about Bubble Bath. It's um just that subtle pretty pink i'm gonna have lots of fun with that and it will go really well with early espresso now i am so glad stamping up brought that back this color this is pretty peacock <coughs> oh excuse me so much okay <coughs> now Pretty Peacock was an in colour a few years ago. I love, 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 loved it. Um, I was devastated when it retired, even though I knew it was an in colour and it was retiring. But it is such a pretty colour. And it's just nice and deep. And um, it reminds me of the ocean. Okay. Next up is Pecan Pie. So... This colour, I think, will be great for your gingerbread houses. So, um, for our Colour of the Month Club, that's going to be a July colour for Christmas in July. So, um, keep your eye out for that. Oh, it does include the Fresh Freesia. So, I have an extra Fresh Freesia. Um stamp pad. I was mistaken, sorry about that. Then you've got Berry Burst. Now Berry Burst was also um, an in colour a few years ago, 
it's quite a bit deeper than the um, melon mambo. I really, really love it. I think it's a great colour. Now, this is a brand new colour. Azure Afternoon. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, it is so, so pretty. It coordinates perfectly with the um, current Tempting Turquoise colour. I think that's a, what it's called. I don't have the colour names in front of me. I'm a bit out of practice with saying colour names um, since I hadn't done as many classes over the last two years. All right, I've also got Lemon Lime Twist. Now this is such a pretty colour. It goes perfectly with Granny Apple Green. It's a, a shade variant. And I'm really happy that they brought that one in. Put in a different yellow this time. So this yellow here is called lemon lolly and it's crossed between a really old colour called barely banana and a colour um, and daffodil it's sort of halfway between it and it reminds me of the banana Allen's banana lollies that you can get makes you feel a little bit hungry all right, another returning colour is Misty Moonlight. I'm excited for this colour to come back because it's a nice navy without it being too dark. Um, Night of Navy is very regal and dark and I love it, but sometimes you need something just a little bit lighter. So this is a really great card, uh, a great colour for your Christmas card. If you wanted to do a blue and, and silver theme, that's just beautiful. Another returning colour is Lost Lagoon. Now, Lost Lagoon was an in colour a few years ago, and it coordinates perfectly with Pretty Peacock. So, using those two colours together, it's going to be a great combination. And... Um, yeah, it's very, very, um, it, it's a, a different tone of that pretty peacock. So I think that they work well together. But it also works really well with some of the greens. So don't discount that one. All right, what else was in my pre-order box? So these are the 2023-2025 in-colour dots. So you've got, oh, I'll have to open it, because they're hiding one of the colours. Let's open this. So you've got the pebble, so this is a new, the pebble colour. Uh, now I didn't buy the stamp pads for the end colours, because I wasn't sure about them at the time that I was putting my order in and let's face it you can't order everything and so what I did is I bought a pack of uninked ink spots and then I bought the re-inkers that go with it. Right. Um, so I think I bought them all. So I can just have little ink pads. I didn't get the wheat one, I don't think. It's hard to tell. We might come across it. So we have got a colour that they call... These are the new ink colours. So Moody Mo. That's actually much nicer when you look at it here, than when you see it in the catalog. Much, much nicer. And then they've got this 
color here which is called copper clay now this is a shade variant of the new um, pecan pie like they go really well together like they I think that they'll work well together this this I think will is a replacement for soft suede this one is going to be great for tree trunks and branches and stuff like that. I think that that's going to be a very popular colour. I might need to buy those. So who's, who's watching? If, you, if I haven't said hello to you, I'm sorry. I just can't seem to see who's watching. And... Yeah. So, so make sure you say hello. Now this one, we got a sneak peek of this one, the Boho Blue. Now, Stamping Up uh, have got a stock of Boho Blue mini cutters. So if you um, are looking at a mini cutter in the new catalogue when that comes out in May, you'll you're getting quick you might be able to get a boho blue one so that's a really pretty color um, the last one is pebbled path now it's sort of like a brownie gray and I think that's actually not a bad color now, now I've seen them together I think that they're much better than what I envisaged because you know when you see something online and you go, oh, I'm not sure I like that. So there, those are those colours. But then, so I got two packs of this because I could order two packs. And I think they're just going to, they're such pretty embellishments. All right. Let's talk about ribbons. Oh, here we go. This is the last colour, which is the wild wheat down in the box there now I bought the in color ribbons all five of them and I bought all five of them because I know they're gonna last two years and I will use them I'm not sure about the ribbon it doesn't look as good as the, um, the dots but yeah I think that that's still pretty so I like that pebbled path. I didn't think that I would. So I might be putting in another pre-order. <sighs> but I've got my ink spots and my re-inkers, so I've got some colour to get me through. So this is another item, new item that was on pre-order. Now these are adhesive back solid gems. So these are in the new colours. So we've got that looks like that's boho blue lemon lolly. And I think that I think that is going to be the copper clay as well. So that's a, a nice combination. So these go with, um, these were part of a suite. Um, and I didn't buy that suite, but I did buy the embellishments because, you know, I like a bit of bling. Alright. Now, let's see. I've also got the in colour stamping right markers and as I said before <clears throat> this is a really inexpensive way to get all the colours um because the markers are much much cheaper than buying five separate ink pads so if you're on a budget and you want some new colours consider getting the markers um all right now, next thing is 
um, the Circle Sayings Bundle. Now, I really like this because it comes with a 2 and 3 8 inch punch, which I probably already have one of these, but um, okay to have another like, second one. And then it comes with these lovely um, sayings that fit inside that circle. So you've got sending you, think of me, great for sentiment. Great sentiments for on cards, for on gift tags. Love these little shells. So, and you can, these ones are more solid images, so you don't even have to worry about colouring them in. You just stamp them in the colour that you want. Um, or you colour them with your Stamping Right markers. And so, look at the cupcake. You can stamp the Celebrate and put the cupcake in the middle. You could even fussy cut it and layer it. Oh so much to do with that one and it's a simple bundle and I like that it's nice and quick and fun all right let's see what else we have in here ah, so I got some new stamping blends now these are all of the Oh, some of the new colours. So look at the bubble bath with the mauve and with the berry blast. So that could work. It could work as a, a colour combination. I don't think I've got the... Um, yeah. Let's, let's see this box. Let's see this box. I know what's in this box, but I'm just going to show you anyway. These are annual catalogues, and I have organized for some to be posted to my regular customers so if you've ordered from me within the last year you will get one or if you put a substantial order in in the last two years so over five hundred dollars worth of product you'll get one as well so um but anyone who ordered in the last year will get one so this is the new annual catalog isn't it beautiful I can't show you inside, but if you're on my mailing list, you'll get one. If you don't know whether you're on my mailing list of current customers, just give me a call and I'll check. And if not, I'll have one here for you. I always have extras. All right. So here are all the um, in colour, all the for most of the new colours. I don't think I've got all the in colours yet. I don't think. But I've got a lot of them, so that's good. What else do we have in here? Oh, I bought myself some Stamparatus magnets. Now, unfortunately, the Stamparatus is currently sold out. Yeah. Um, and people are a bit distressed about, well, why is it um, going? Stamping Up's um, indicated that there was <clears throat> um, ongoing legal proceedings around the Stamparatus, and these are a matter of public record. There, if you look up um, the internet, you can find it. That um, so because there are on low, ongoing legal things, they've decided to withdraw the Stamparatus at this time. So they're and I note their words were specifically at this time. I can't tell you if there'll be a replacement, but if you need your magnets or a um, deluxe stamping mat like this one get them before they will transfer over to the 
any remaining stock after last chance will transfer over to the ongoing sorry the online extras site but it's really good to have one of these mats and if you don't have a craft mat on your desk to use with your photopolymer stamps get one of these these are awesome they wipe off really well they um adjust the right thickness for when you're using your um, photopolymer stamps to give you a nice crisp image. Some people say to use the, um, the piercing mat, but I think these are better because um, they're sort of a better shape. It's much easier to put a card on this, I think, than the piercing mat. You have to turn the piercing mat around and these are just great so if you don't have one of these i think i've gone down to a ridiculously discounted price so get your mag if you're owner stamper artist get your magnets and your deluxe phone mat okay all right let's see what else i managed to buy i bought a sweet and two and a set of dies. Um, I didn't buy a bundle. Um, the other tip I'll give you is multi-purpose glue is going up in price in the new catalogue. So get it while it's at the reduced lower price. Um, it goes up in May. So okay, let's talk about these dies. So these are part of a suite, but my budget didn't stretch far enough to get that sweet, but I loved the dies. So you don't have to buy dies that coordinate, uh, both the die and the coordinating stamp set. And I'll show you why I love these dies. These are called Countryside Corners die. So these are really great shape. They're just a little bit more interesting than a plain rectangle. They're not stitched, so they cut out really easily. And you can layer them up. I've got a nice layer differentiation. There's a nice one for a sentiment. It's got a little banner. But they're such great dies. So even if you don't like the whole suite, which I did like it, I just didn't have the budget for it, or the whole bundle, get the dies. They are really great. Um, and now we'll get a lot of use over the next year in my craft room. So I always look at what will I use, whether it be for class or for my own crafting pleasure, which I have to say, I don't do too much of my own stuff at the moment. All right, so let's, next thing I bought was the Zany Zoo um, Switch. So, look at this llama, oh my goodness. He is, she, he, it is adorable. And then you've got this cute, these two, pictures are really the whole th whole reason I bought this suite and the crocodile and I'm saying it's a crocodile not an alligator because he has more of a pointy snout so those three images are the whole reason I bought this suite I just loved this and it's got matching dies but if you don't kind of for the dies but it's fairly easy to fussy cut that one let's have a look at the um, the matching dies and see what extras. So some people go, oh, I'll just buy my dies from online from somewhere else. If you're buying a counterfeit die, and that's what they are, they're counterfeits, um, you're not going to get all the extras that you get. And they won't fit the stamps, I can tell you that from experience. So, 
It's got, ooh, it's got a couple of little Christmas trees. It's got a banner die. It's got your shape. So you've got your llama, your crocodile, your, I think it's, I don't know what that is. I think it's a, like a chipmunk, a squirrel or something. Maybe, I don't know what that is. I'll have to have a look at that. You've got your raccoon and you've got your turtle. Well, that must be the, no, that's your leopard that's dancing. And that's your chip monkey thing. You've got some Christmas trees. You've got a stool. So you could have, you could do like, and you've got curtains. So you could do your little turtle on a stage with curtains and a stool next to him and he's building out the hits how cool is that got some balloons so you can cut some balloons out to make got a couple of sets of balloons you've got some flowers what and look you've got a scalloped edge that's always good scalloped edges are always handy so there's a few little extras that they throw in that Stamping Up always throw in with their dies to make them more fun, okay? <clears throat> okay. I haven't got anyone watching this morning. I was sure someone would be around. But you know what? It's all okay. If you have any questions when you're watching this on replay, just put them in the comments and I'll come. I always check my questions and come back and answer them. Um, it might take a couple of days because it is the Easter long weekend this weekend. Alright. Let's see what else we have. So this is part of that suite as well. So it's a, a ribbon duo combo and so you've got a bubble bath pink and it looks like the new lemon lime twist doesn't it okay then it's got some designer series paper and look at that look at the rabbit oh my goodness sorry I just get so excited about new papers. And it's got, is this an art anteater? Oh, what do they call them? I don't know if it's an aardvark, but it's pretty cool. And a fox. And, uh. Generally, I try not to open my paper until I'm about to use it. But I know I've got 12 months to use this one. So I'm going to open it now. I'm going to break all my rules and open it now. Hi Lorraine and hi Donna. Lovely to see you. Hope you're both having a great day. Um, I, oh, sorry Donna Marie. I, um, I just think these are so cute, this paper. I have so much fun with these. So. So these are uh, coloured on one side and black and white on the other. So we've got our first one. Let's flip it over. And as I said, I hadn't opened this before today. So that's a really nice neutral pattern. A bit fun. Um, so I, I literally opened this box this morning on camera. So you've got an armadillo and a koala. Look at that koala. Ah. Oh. That is so cute. I was hoping that the set would have had a koala in it because I have to make a baby shower card and I don't have any koalas in my stash. And it's got some stars for the black and white piece on the reverse side. So they're really great, aren't they? And if you wanted to, you can grab your stamping blends and you can colour in those other things. So you can colour in your raccoon and your elephant and your dog and make it whatever colour you like. But I do like the fact that some is coloured and some isn't. Let's see. 
the next one. So we've got our llama and I'm pretty sure the dyes will cut that llama out. You've got a sloth. Oh. I love sloths. Um, some days I think the sloth might be my spirit animal instead of a flamingo, but anyway, and you've got I'm reading a book and a mountain goat, I think it's called something else. And then that's the river other side of it. A nice squiggly scallop pattern. Ah, uh, now. Here is such a cute one for a music lover. Look at the little frog. A funny story about frogs. My eldest sister, she ever for years and years, everybody told um, would give her frogs, and because we all thought that frogs were her favourite animal. But they weren't. They were my niece's favourite animal and she had told everyone that her mum loved these frogs. So we all gave her frogs. And so for probably about 30 years, <coughs> we gave her frogs. Not knowing that she didn't actually like frogs. So I think that's a funny story. Anyway, my niece was very clever. Oh look, they've got a warthog and a beaver. And a bear. Oh, how cute. And the jolly pattern on the background. Let's look at the next one. So, so you've got your little tiger that's in the stamp set. Oh, sorry, cheetah. And then you've got some cats. Oh, look at the sheep. Oh, the sheep is gorgeous. And you've got pretty flowers. That's so lovely. So, so lovely. Okay, and let's have a look at the last one. So we've got a skunk with, oh, so it's a skunk. I thought it was a squirrel. So there you go, and look at the piggy, piggy hiking, and your trees, and I don't know if that's a guinea pig or a gopher or what that is, but anyway, it's chasing butterflies and the lion. As I said, you can fussy cut these out or die cut where there's a die, and you can colour them in. Or you could just punch them out with your, your new circle punch. I'm pretty sure that that would fit. Have a look. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they'd fit. And you can punch them out and make some lovely um, designs. And this is the back side of it. It's a um, little flowers. Oh, I miss the hippo. Look at that hippo. How cute. That's a real Fantasia thing, isn't it? All right. So that's the paper from... The zoo, Zany Zoo Suite, or the zoo, and it's called Zoo Crew Paper. So that'll be available in May. And coming to the end of my box, that's a little bit sad. So we've got the new. I just bought because I'm budgeting. I hate that word. Um, I, I just bought two assorted packs of the new colours. That way you've got a little bit of each colour until you've got the funds, until you work out what you really like and you've got the funds to um, buy all the new colours or buy what your favourite colours from the new collection. So let's just see if I can show you these cool colours. I think these assorted packs are really good value for money. You get two sheets of um, colour, of each colour, and you, um, oops, they're falling out. 
and so you've got a little bit of color that you can play with and if you get two packs well that means you've got four sheets so you've got enough to make four cards if you're just using it as a base layer now i'm gradually getting these out so So these are only the core colours, not the in colours. So, so we have pretty peacock, very blue blueberry bushel, berry birch, misty moonlight, the pecan, lost lagoon, azure. Um, can't remember what that colour is. Fresh freesia, um, lemon lime twist, bubble bath, and um, lemon lolly. That lemon lolly that just looks like banana lollies. On. Now I'm really hungry. I'm going to have to go to the shop over the weekend and get some bananas. That might be good for my launch party. So the other thing I, the last thing that I got is I got two packs of the A4 in colour cardstock. Yeah. And I know it looks like I've got a lot of stuff and I did, but I also, um, I have been saving up for this for a number of months because I, um, knew that we were due a colour refresh soon so um if you're a demo as as part of your business plan i really urge you to have like take a bit of your commission and put it aside like even if it's just one percent and i then when new things Colour refreshes happen, you've got some cash there to pay with them. Okay, look at those new in colours. I'm still, um, I, I still am torn about the um, the wheat colour, but I can see where you would use it. Oh, I love the blue and I like the pebble, and I'm warming to the mauve and the copper clay so when i first saw these colors i went oh what were they thinking but now i've seen them in person i went you know they're actually they complement some of the other colors in the catalog really really well okay so that is my um unboxing and I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that I get to share some of these things with you. Now for my Brisbane based people, there is Coffee, Cake and Cards next Tuesday, uh, next Wednesday at Al Justice Sports Club as usual. And um, there is next Saturday, next week. So not Easter Saturday, the following Saturday. I'm having a play with my stuff afternoon with the retiring products from the two catalogues. So if you're around and you um, what, have some cards that you want to make, well, something that you, out of my collection that you that's retiring that you know that you want to play with, um, please come along and we'll have a really nice afternoon if, if you don't want to make anything and you just want to come along for a cup off that's all right I do ask this is a bit of a different setup so I do ask people do bring some a plate of things to share okay because it is a play with my stuff thing and um yeah, so hope everyone has the most fantastic Easter. I um, have to evacuate my, um, well not evacuate, 
they take my room here because Steve needs to get back to his, doing his work in his office. So, joys of sharing an office. Um, but anyway, I hope you have a great Easter. If you have any questions about anything that I have um, shown you today, just reach out and I will get back to you. And my people who are in my Facebook group, I will be drawing the results of the creative challenge sometime today. And um, so good luck if you entered. Okay. Until next time, happy creating and thanks for joining me.